Welcome humans! Today we journey through the vast expanse of space and time as we explore the cosmic calendar as presented by the legendary Carl Sagan and his groundbreaking TV show Cosmos. This is my take on his amazing analogy. Our cosmic calendar is a unique way of visualizing the history of our entire universe by compressing the 13.8 billion years since the Big Bang into a single Earth year starting on January 1st. Now, imagine that everything that has ever happened in the entire universe has been compressed into a single Earth year, with January 1st being the Big Bang to the end of the year being present day. So let's begin our journey on January 1st, which is the moment of the Big Bang. Now, for the first few milliseconds, the universe was a hot, dense soup of particles and energy. But as time progressed, the universe underwent rapid expansion and cooling, eventually giving birth to the fundamental forces and elementary particles that we know today. Now let's fast forward to March 15th in this cosmic calendar. This would be when the first atoms began to form. These were primarily hydrogen and helium atoms, which are the lightest elements in the whole universe. Now it took another 200 million years for the first stars to ignite and begin to shine, bringing light to the darkness of the cosmos. These early stars were massive, burning brightly and fusing heavier and heavier elements into their cores. Now let's move on a little bit to April 1st in our cosmic calendar. This would be when the Milky Way galaxy began to form. The Milky Way is called a barred spiral galaxy, home to our solar system and billions of other stars. Now moving along just a little bit to April 10th, an explosion of star formation began to happen in our galaxy and across the universe. These early stars, again, were very massive and short-lived, burning brightly, again fusing heavier and heavier elements in their cores. Moving on just a little bit in the cosmic calendar, we come to May 11th. This is when the first galaxies in our local neighborhood begin to form in their current shape as stars and dust and gas come together under the influence of gravity. Now moving along to June 2nd in the calendar, the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy begin to take shape and start to resemble their current form as we see them today. Now these two galaxies are the largest members of what we call the local group of galaxies, which is a collection of more than 54 galaxies, more or less weakly gravitationally bound. Moving along a little bit in the calendar, close to midway through the year, we come to June 11th. The first supermassive black holes are formed. Now, these are black holes that are thought to be the seeds of the supermassive black holes that exist at the center of most galaxies that we observe today. Moving along just a little bit, we come to July 1st in the cosmic calendar. This is when the first quasars are observed. Now what exactly are quasars? Quasars are incredibly bright and distant objects powered by supermassive holes in the center of galaxies. Near the end of July, we come to July 21st. The first globular clusters are formed. Now these globular clusters are dense collections of stars that orbit the center of larger galaxies. Moving along to August 1st, the first planets are formed around stars in the universe. Now planets are formed from the leftover material in the protoplanetary disks that surround young stars. Now on August 13th, the first signs of life appear on Earth. These early life forms were simple, single-celled organisms that lived in the Earth's oceans. By August 17th, the first multicellular life forms begin to appear on Earth. Now these early multicellular organisms paved the way for the incredible diversity of life that we see today. As we approach September 2nd, galaxies grew through mergers and collisions, eventually forming the beautiful cosmic web that we observe today. On September 9th, the Milky Way galaxy experiences a significant event, the collision with a dwarf galaxy, which is thought to have helped form the galaxy's spiral structure and central bar. Now this event also likely played the role in the formation of our solar system. By September 14th, our sun and solar system begin to take shape in the form that we kind of see it and observe it today. 
the Sun formed from a collapsing cloud of gas and dust, while the planets formed from the leftover material. The Earth, a mere speck in the vastness of the cosmos, was born around this time. Now, the Earth's early history was marked by intense volcanic activity and the formation of our atmosphere. On September 25th, we see an explosion in the diversity of single-celled organisms. These early life forms evolved over time, developing photosynthesis and eventually giving rise to more complex life. On November 9th, we see an explosion in the diversity of multicellular organisms, which paved the way for the incredible diversity of life that we see today. It was a period of rapid diversification of life occurred around December 1st on this timetable, marking the rise of complex animals with hard body parts. Now, let's take a closer look at the crucial events in November and December on this cosmic calendar that led to the formation of early single cell and multicellular life of more complex variety. Now, November 1st in the cosmic calendar marks the beginning of the Protozoic Eon, around two and a half billion years ago. This period saw the emergence of a great variety of single-celled organisms, such as bacteria and archaea. These early life forms were primarily anaerobic, which means they did not require oxygen to survive. But by November 12th, on this day in the cosmic calendar, the first photosynthetic bacteria appeared. These organisms were capable of converting sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide into energy, producing oxygen as a byproduct. Now, this process eventually led to the oxygenation of Earth's atmosphere, setting the stage for more complex life forms to evolve. Here we arrive at November 15th, around one and a half billion years ago. The first eukaryotic cells emerged. Now, these cells contain a nucleus and other membrane-bound organelles, making them more complex than their prokaryotic counterparts. Eukaryotic cells are the building blocks of all multicellular life, including plants, animals, and fungi. On November 18th, sexual reproduction is believed to have developed around this time in the cosmic calendar. This form of reproduction allowed for greater genetic diversity, which in turn accelerated the pace of evolution. Here we arrive at November 24th, the first multicellular organisms of a more complex variety emerged, such as algae and fungi. It appeared on this day in the cosmic calendar. These simple life forms paved the way for more complex life forms to evolve down the road. December 1st on the cosmic calendar, around one billion years ago, the first multicellular animals of more complex variety emerged. These animals were simple, soft-bodied creatures, but they laid the foundation for the incredible diversity of animal life that we see today. Now, on December 14th, on this day in the cosmic calendar, the first land plants appeared. These plants played a crucial role in further oxygenating the atmosphere, making Earth's environment a little more suitable for life on land. December 17th, the Cambrian Explosion, a period of rapid diversification of life, began on this day in the cosmic calendar. Now, during this time, many of the major animal groups that we know today, such as mollusks, arthropods, and vertebrates, first appeared in the fossil record. Now, by December 21st, the first vertebrates with jaws, the ancestors of modern fish, appeared on this day in the cosmic calendar. This development allowed for more efficient feeding and paved the way for evolution of other jawed vertebrates, including humans. On December 23rd, around 360 million years ago, the first tetrapods, or four-limbed animals, appeared. These early tetrapods were ancestors of all modern amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. We're getting close to the end of the year here. On December 26th, on this day in the cosmic calendar, the first mammals appeared. These early mammals were small, shrew-like creatures that lived alongside dinosaurs. December 27th in the cosmic calendar marked the first birds, which evolved from a group of feathered dinosaurs. This appeared on this day in the cosmic calendar. Birds are the only living descendants of the once dominant dinosaur group. December 30th, the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event occurred on this day in the cosmic calendar. This mass extinction event wiped out the dinosaurs, allowing mammals to diversify and fill the ecological niches left vacant by the fallen giants called the dinosaurs. Here we arrive at December 31st in the cosmic calendar. This represents the most recent period in the history of our universe, corresponding to the last 
22 seconds of the year of the last day of the calendar. Now, during this time, numerous significant events have taken place, shaping the world as we live in it today. Here's a more detailed breakdown of what happened on December 31st in the final seconds of the cosmic calendar. 11.59 and 44 seconds p.m the first anatomically modern humans emerge in Africa. Now, these early humans were characterized by their advanced cognitive abilities and unique physical features, such as a larger brain and a more gracile skeleton. December 31st, 1159 and 48 seconds p.m., the last ice age comes to an end on the Earth, marking the beginning of the Holocene epoch. This period is characterized by a warmer climate and the rapid expansion of human populations across the globe. 11.59 and 52 seconds p.m., the first agricultural revolution begins as humans start to domesticate plants and animals. Now, this transition from hunter-gatherer societies to agricultural societies laid the foundation for development of complex civilizations. 11.59 and 55 seconds p.m., the first civilizations emerge in Mesopotamia, Egypt, and the Indus Valley. Now, these early civilizations were characterized by the development of writing, monumental architecture, and complex social structures. 11.59 and 57 seconds p.m., the classical period begins, which is marked by the rise of powerful empires such as the Roman Empire, the Han Dynasty in China, and the Maran Empire in India. These periods saw significant advancements in science, philosophy, and art. 11.59 and 58 seconds p.m., the Middle Ages began, which was a time of significant political, societal, and economic change in Europe, the Middle East, and Asia. Now, during this period, the Islamic Golden Age and the European Renaissance laid the groundwork for the Scientific Revolution and the Age of Enlightenment. Here we arrive at 11.59 and 59 seconds p.m., the Industrial Revolution begins, transforming the world through the development of new technologies and the rapid growth of industry. Now, this period saw significant improvements in transportation, communication, and the standard of living for many people across the world. At 11.59 and 59 p.m., a little bit later, the digital revolution begins as computers and the internet transform the way we live, work, and communicate. This period has seen rapid advancements in information technology and the emergence of a societal, globally interconnected society. In the final seconds of the cosmic calendar, humanity has experienced an incredible journey. From our humble origins as hunter-gatherers to the complex, interconnected world that we live in today. As we look to the future, we can only imagine what wonders and challenges the next seconds will bring. Now, I don't know about you, but I absolutely love looking at the history of the universe this way. I love the way the original Carl Sagan put it together, and he had his way of doing it. This is my little take on the same kind of idea. But it helps me encapsulate what has really transpired on in, in this universe. So, you know, if I tell you the universe is this many billion years old, we have absolutely no conception of what that means. I don't. I mean, I know it's big, but anything beyond maybe a few million, I just can't even conceptualize. But putting it into a calendar like that, and knowing that the Big Bang starts on January 1, a few months later, atoms form, and then galaxies form, and everything that we think of as history only happens in the very last day, in the very last few minutes of the calendar. That just brings it home how grand the universe actually is. I find that absolutely fascinating. And I encourage you to think through it and really try to visualize what the universe, how the universe must have unfolded using this calendar kind of as a benchmark. Now, I wanna thank you for joining me and hanging out with me today in our journey through the cosmos. Until next time, keep looking up, keep wondering about the mysteries of the universe, stay curious, and please drop me a line and let me know what you think. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.